Hi everybody, this is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Building off of last week's tip of the week, which was doing a push upon collision, we're going to add another element to that. Today, I want to know what the actual travel is going to be when I do my mechanism, when I introduce that motion. We can do that using the analysis tool. With the distance analysis tool, I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'm going to select the face of the slide mechanism itself, and then I'm going to select another face for a reference, and you'll notice that the distance shows up in my graphics window. I'm then going to make that a saved distance. So we're going to just give that a name, and then we're going to accept that. Now, a couple things that I'd like to point out. First off, if I hold down the Control and Alt key, and then I pull my mechanism up, you'll notice the distance dynamically updating while I'm pulling on that mechanism. Okay, nice tool, nice feature to have to be able to see what that actual distance ultimately is going to be. Rotate my screen around there, I can see what that actual value is. Now we're going to go back to the original location, regenerating my mechanism, and resetting that distance to zero. Now, if I use the drag components handle, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so that we have access to that, and pick on a component so that I can drag the component, you'll notice that the distance is not dynamically updating. So word to the wise, when you go to do this, you don't want to use the drag components uh, portion of it. What you want to do is hold down the control key and the alt key and then pull up on your mechanism so that you get your distance traveled. Okay, just to show another little highlight on that, I'm actually going to change the value of the length of this pin to give you an idea of how that works. So we're going to go to uh, 3.5 as a length, regenerate it, reactivate my assembly, and we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to grab Control and Alt and pull up. And now you can see, you know, my travel is working, and now the actual value of that travel is different from what it was before. Give this a try. If you need any help with it, let us know. Contact your friendly EAC Product Development Solutions account manager. Let them know you saw this on one of our Tip of the Week videos and you'd like to get more information. Thanks again. This is Doug Hippie signing off from another Tip of the Week. Hoping you have a great week.